to absolutely no one's surprise, Premier League referees had yet another almighty fuck up this weekend. For those of you who missed it, James Madison threw a punch at Ryan Yates on the stroke of half time with the game finally poised at 1-0, yet the guy wasn't even booked. Now, that's as stonewall as the red card as you're going to get. I've seen some people online saying that Ryan Yates is a bit of a wind up merchant, so had it coming, but that's completely missing the point. The whole reason behind this shithousery is to put opposition players off their game, and whether you like it or not, that's within the laws of the sport, whereas decking another bloke most certainly isn't. As it turns out, Forrest went on to lose 3-1 and are only out of the relegation zone on goal difference. If they'd spent 45 minutes playing against 10 men, chances are, the result would have been reversed. Needless to say, there's plenty of what ifs in football, like Chris Wood's glaring miss from point blank range in the same game, and therefore you have to move on. That being said, moments like this could very well be the difference between staying up and going down, so referees must be severely reprimanded if they can't come to the correct decision, despite having the luxury of slow motion replays and infinite camera angles. Obviously, it wasn't exactly a haymaker from Madison, but you can't be getting away with that in this day and age where officials give a foul for the slightest of contact. It also begs the question, what the bloody hell is the purpose of VAR? If these clowns over at Stockley Park can't help the on-field referee, they've got no business being sat in that room in the first place. On a side note, as much as I love Roy Keane, I felt his analysis of this particular situation was well wide of the mark. He started banging on about how he didn't like Yates telling the ref to have a look at the monitor, and suggested the midfielder should toughen up a little bit. For me, this was a case of him trying to maintain his image of being an old school uncompromising hard man. Well, that's humorous for the most part, there's a time and place for it, and this wasn't it. There are millions of people tuning into his analysis for every punditry gig he does, and accurately representing what happened should take precedence over so called banter. It's the problem with Sky Sports as a whole these days. They're moving away from analysis to sensationalism, and that's a bleeding shame because there's plenty of the latter to go around already. That's my own take on it. Do let me know yours down below, and I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Peace.